everyone, I'm Katie, and here at the National Space Centre today, we are in the planetarium to learn all about the phases of the moon. Now, for this, we're going to need three things. First of all, the Earth, which today is going to be represented by you guys at home. So, uh, could you hold this for me, please? We're also going to need the sun, which is going to be represented by a light. Now, my colleague Josh is over there. So, uh, Josh, if you could catch the sun, please. And finally, of course, we need the moon, which today is represented by me. We see the moon in the sky because the sun's light is reflecting off its surface. And when we think of the moon in the sky, we often think of this phase here the full moon. But as the moon moves through its 28-day orbit, we start to see different shapes or phases. We're going to take a look at those now. So a couple of days into the orbit, that shadow starts to creep in. We see an almost full moon, and this is called the waning gibbous. A couple more days later, we're seven days in. That's a quarter of the way through, and we can see a quarter of the moon lit up. So you might have guessed it, this one's called the last quarter. A couple more days later, that shadow has crept almost entirely over. We have this thin strip of light here, which we call a crescent shape. We name it the waning crescent. And 14 days in, we're halfway through our orbit. At this point, the moon is completely in shadow. It's very difficult for us to spot, and we call it a new moon. So we're halfway through our orbit, and as we continue our orbit, that light's going to start creeping back in, and our moon's going to start looking bigger. Now, you may have noticed that I've been using the word waning so far, and waning simply means getting smaller. So now that our moon's going to start getting bigger, we're going to use a different word called waxing. And you've probably guessed it, that means getting bigger. So a couple of more days into our orbit, we start to see our moon getting a little bigger. We see that crescent shape reappearing, and we call this our waxing crescent. A couple more days in, we come to three quarters of the way through the orbit. Once again, you can see a quarter of the moon, and this is called our first quarter. A couple more days later, we can see almost all of the moon lit up. Can you remember what phase that was called? You got it, it was a gibbous. So we call this the waxing gibbous. And finally, 28 days later, we return back to our starting position, where the moon is fully lit up, we can see all of it, and once again, we call it a full moon. So today, we've learned all about the phases of the moon. And now that you know them, why not try checking them out for yourself out of your bedroom window over the next couple of weeks? See you soon, guys.